All right, so for those of you interested in the French pouch of uh, during the Crimean War, 1854-1855, uh, French occupation of Mexico, 1862-1867, um, this would be the model 1845 uh, ammunition pouch. Uh, the French referred to this as a gibernet, G-I-B-E-R-N-E. E. If you look that up on uh, on uh, Google or something on, on uh, actually France, uh, eBay France, you'll actually see quite a few pictures of these um, pouches here. Uh, sometimes you'll see slightly different models. Uh, that would be because uh, back in back in those days, they had quite a lot of different types of uh, um, units out there. The chasseurs, the um, something of the guard um, uh, of course you had all the different type of cavalry units uh, you had the infantry what they call the infantry of the line uh, you had your zoovs and you had your legionnaires um, zoovs legionnaires and many of the regular infantry would have this particular type of pouch sometimes you would see them with particular logos the the eagle or a cannonball type uh, the horns on the corners, you know, the French horns on the corners. Um, you'd have to really do a lot of research as to as far as a particular unit that you're trying to uh, um, uh, represent uh, before you go out and like make one of these or or buy one of these because I've seen one of these on on a Civil War sutler site for like two hundred and forty dollars, which is like it's like fuck you, it's insane. Anyway. They're easy to make. It's all uh, other than this pouch inside, where I sewed here. It's otherwise all hand stitched, and uh, yeah, it takes a while, but it's actually quite easy. Um, what's particular about these pout uh, parts here and here? All these, you know, the what makes the box is that they're actually cut at an angle, and I hope you can see that here. Um, that's kind of a bitch. Um, I have a matte board cutter for picture frames and then actually did it. So that's nice. Um, some There are some tools, hand tools out there you can use to make this at an angle. Um, and so when you do that and you sew right through it, it's actually quite easy. The leather for this is actually going to be three millimeters in thickness all around. All these pieces are all three millimeter except of course for this this is almost like paper thin in here we would have the uh, the the caps for the percussion rifle inside are three different compartments uh, the basic measurement for this is the front part here is 90 mil 90 centimeters the back part here is a hundred or is 10 centimeters it's okay, so it's nine nine millimeters, ten centimeters, and then this part here is eleven centimeters from the top to the bottom. It's a little bit higher, as you can see, it kind of droops down. Um, from here to here is nineteen centimeters. Yeah, nineteen centimeters. This is 55 millimeters, and let's see, this here, from here to here, is uh, 21 mm, centimeters, 21 centimeters. So, and this here is going to be 30, 3 millimeters, or 3 centimeters, 3 centimeters, which is 30 millimeters. Anyway, uh, you dye this black first, and then you use black polish, black wax, which in other words is shoe polish. You let it sit for a day, then you can brush it out, and it holds up pretty good. So this is going to be a rough side out. So you can see it's all smooth inside, and this is all rough side out. So um, this pouch here was first used in North Africa about 1838 and it turned out that it was much more comfortable for the soldiers so by around 1844 1845 is when 
the rest of the French military decided that this was going to be a good pouch for them and they replaced the cross straps um, or at least they weren't making any more cross straps and until those were used up they would use those these would be the new ones so that's why you would see these during the Crimean War and this is what the French were wearing during the occupation of Mexico um, there you go ask me any questions if you have any more or if you have any questions let me know these are pretty easy to make but uh, uh, they are time consuming